Amongst the maze of basketball courts teeming with high-flying hoopsters, inside Bob Knight's Fieldhouse in Dallas, you'll find Jalen Harris. Your, your demeanor is, is, is showing how we're playing. You gotta fix your demeanor, you gotta fix your attitude. He's not the first talented point guard to slump his shoulders and infuriate his coach. Not this coach. And on this team, it seems only right. You see, it's the inaugural season. In fact, the very first games for Team Wall in the Adidas Uprising Gauntlet series. And Coach Kendrick Williams is very familiar with the man behind the name. He's known John Wall for half of the Washington Wiz Kids life. The first day I saw him, I was actually playing against him. And from that day forward, I've never seen a kid when, I, when he was on the court, no one's never been better. Did I think he was going to be a pro then? Nope. Because he was short. He was fast. And he had a bad attitude. The loss of his father at the age of nine had taken a terrible toll on the talented youngster. For those who watched the little terror, known as Crazy Jay, play ball on Garner Road in Raleigh, North Carolina, he seemed much more likely to end up in a court that had nothing to do with basketball. But there was a point in time that we didn't want him to forget his father or tell him to get over his father, but I wanted him to stop using his father as an excuse. To start using his talent is a ticket out for him and his family. Williams coached Wall as a youngster in AAU and then again in his final years of high school. But he was now that elite level player. He was now all of a sudden 6'4". And, you know, we had our ups and downs in high school. Um, we had a great team. Um, but I think, you know, we learned a lot from each other. And we just, grew, we just grew a bond, you know. I was that guy that always told him what he needed to hear, not what he wanted to hear. And the more things change, the more they stay the same. Tough love is still Coach K's calling card. Down, get your shoulder down and get to the basket. That's what you do, you understand? That's your game. And despite being the NBA's number one pick in 2010, being named a two-time NBA All-Star and leading the Wizards to the playoffs for the second straight year, John Wall's heart is still in AAU basketball. Three years in the making, Team Wall became a reality in March. And John knew exactly who he wanted to lead his Raleigh based squad. It's a exciting time. You got to make sure you get the right coaches. And uh, it's an identity that I want the team to kind of be like I was. I mean, some guys has never been known and had the opportunity to get to the, the bigger showcase tournaments and prove their talents. And uh, there's a lot of talent in North Carolina. You have other teams that people are deciding who they want to play for. And, uh, I think the guy that's running it is a great coach and somebody that coached me when I was in high school. So, I mean, I find time to sit throughout the summertime. He does provide some extra inspiration because if he can do it for a guy like John Wall and see how he turned out, you know, he's wonder what he has like vision like I can do. So, I mean, I'm gonna stick with it and see what uh, how far I can take, how far he can take me to elevate my game. Cause that's all I really want to work on is get better at basketball and just go out there and compete every night on the floor. And it's certainly not lost on the players. An NBA superstar is eager for updates on their play. Normally, I, I don't try to think on the court. I just try to play the game. But when I sit back and think about it off the court, it's pretty, pretty amazing that they wanted me to come play the point guard for John Wall's age. Really excited because it's a chance to be a part of something new on a stage like this. You know, we're the first people in, um, on a team that's going to last. You know, some, as a program that's going to live on. So it's, it's a good experience to be on something new. He always wants to know what's going on, how we doing, how the guys doing. Um, he's very involved, very hands-on, very hands-on. So it seems as if everything has come full circle, as the troubled youth who is wicked for much more than his crossover has become the owner, looking to give back and benefit kids in similar positions. It's not too similar. I know guys that have the attitude I had when I first started playing basketball. Those are guys you don't want on your team at this point of age. This is an opportunity for guys not See, if they don't get a scholarship to play basketball, you have an opportunity to get a free ride to school. And that's the main thing I'm looking at is trying to help kids out if they can mentor themselves to try to not just be an athlete in college, but just be a student too. And yet, that's the slippery slope upon which Team Wall is built. 
John Wall attended Kentucky for only one year before jumping to the NBA as the top pick. But there is no mixed message on the hardwood in Dallas on this weekend. Wall was the exception. College isn't to be viewed as a pit stop on the way to the association, but instead as a four-year stay to earn an education. I know that's, that's their desire and their dream, but I try to be realistic with them. Listen, it's a very small chance. So how do I eliminate the rhetoric? Or the, I've never mentioned NBA possibility for any player. Let's talk college. Because if you get to college, anything can happen. But first you gotta go through the process of getting to college. And that process is no doubt made easier by the world of AAU basketball. On these courts, big time college coaches are the judges, while elite high school talents make their case. Big D, for these kids, it's all about the big C, college. And John Wall, well, he's all too happy to hand out the assist. For Winner's View, I'm Damon Fondo.